Well, hello, good morning, everybody from Spain. Now, um, this is a tutorial. I'm sorry, I haven't uh, done uh, like oopa, interesting moves. Uh, many tutorials, like like you know, proper long tutorials in a in a while. It's just uh, um, life has been kind of mental. Now, um. The issue or the, I don't know, what, what I wanted to bring today is uh, the, the confusion that there is uh, regarding covering, um, deepening, and, uh, and the effect that that has on the voice and, and, and how, you know, the transition, you know, between... I don't know your your middle voice going to your to your high uh, register, and what better example than 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 Nessun uh, Dorma, um, for example, right? That has very you know you start really low, and and you end quite quite high, right? Because you know you start you start here. Nessun Dorma. That's the beginning, and all of a sudden, in that very first phrase, you know, you, you, you all, all of a sudden you get an octave down, um, which which is challenging already. So, some people are already on that, that that low D, they would sound like which okay if you want to create it as an effect. That's okay, but this is not the key of the, the 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 places where we sort of struggle. The places where we usually struggle and we fear the most uh, are, of course, the the last high uh, B natural, right? That, that B four, and um, and those A fours, right? Those. Uh, Okay, uh, and, and we fear them because we believe we're gonna get tired, and then we are not going to be able to have enough stamina to get to that um, B natural. Now I always say, and and this is very Di Stefano um, like, that in case of doubt, open. Um, and then you might say, whoa, 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 wait a second. I mean, Di Stefano lost his voice because he opened uh, too much or he never covered. And to my, you know, to my mind, and in my humble opinion, that's not true. It's just that he didn't cover um, excessively. He, he actually had a very open voice with very pure vowels. But it was not what we call that voce bianca, you know, white voice. He did cover. He did cover. But the cover was very, very slightly. The sound was very open. That's why the diction was very, very good. But you, you, you can't forget the fact that Di Stefano was a lyric tenor. He was not a, a spinto or lyrico spinto. Not even what we would call a full lyric tenor. So roles such as... I would even say Tosca, which actually the interpretation is magnificent. They were vocally too big for him. Uh, so what can I say about Chenier or, or, or Turandot? Well, <laughs> that's crazy. But hey, it was people and people just did whatever people wanted to do. Now, so I would like to cover uh, a, a, a few passages of... Um, Nessun Dorma to show you that if you technically you think it in a in a in a very simplistic way you can you can get away with this area no problem no problem honestly it's not as taxing or difficult as people paint it okay so uh, again. I'm going to concentrate on these two passages, uh, those high A's and the last uh, B natural. 
Why? Because, uh, you know, when you go... Ma il mio misto era chiuso in me, right? Il nome mio ne son sabrano, no! Okay, those, those, those notes are, they, they don't really present, uh, sort of, a, I wouldn't say danger, but they are not so, like, oh, I gotta think about what I'm doing. But the moment you go into... Right? That's when people start doing... Uh, either they start pushing way too much uh, and they struggle and they, um, they create a lot of constriction. Um, they overcover uh, because they have heard uh, people such as, for example, Giacomini or uh, maybe Corelli or, or Del Monaco, or, but, but especially very dramatic voices, very what I call fat voices, right? And that gives you the illusion that they are really, wow, they are really uh, deepening and, and, and lowering the larynxes like mad. N no, 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 no. Actually, they, they are not doing that, but it sounds like that. See, you have to consider that the perception um, of what we hear outside has nothing sometimes to do with what we experience and hear inside. So my recommendation to actually make this uh, passive easier for everybody in, in, in both, you know, um, uh, verses is keep it open with a little bit of cover because obviously if you don't cover it's going to sound like a big screen right but don't over cover and uh, don't go up and down up and down like you might hear some of the greater greatest singers they do you know okay we are not those superstars okay so we're gonna think it as only one line. We're gonna think it very open. So instead of boca, it's gonna be ba, baca, la dira, right? So it would be something like this. all you have to do right open 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 cover right right so it's not bye bye you start doing that good luck Okay, and why do I say good luck? Because I used to do that. <laughs> I used to do that all the time. Uh, and maybe sometimes I do it if I get carried away. No, 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 no. It reminds me a lot of those G's in Tosca, you know? You know, Lore Fujita, right? Uh... Right, if you start to what if you start to hit those uh you're dead you get really tired and then you cannot resolve the idea okay so once again think those mm, a's as you know this part think that you're just singing this note the whole time but actually this is the important note and then you pr you let the 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 sound be produced yeah that that's it it's like a trampoline then i i i go to that note and i just keep it and once again don't look for volume if you look for volume, 
again, it's not going to be game over, but it's going to be very taxing. And um, we don't want that. We, we, we want to be fresh, okay? Now, I, I, don't, I don't think I, I, I am a, a good portrait of Caliph. Uh, I, I don't have that, that, um, that weight uh, or, you know, that thickness uh, that I, I believe Caliph needs. I'm, I'm a lyric tenor, after all. I'm a lyric tenor. So I, I don't think I, I, I would ever take Caliph um, as a role. I love it. I would love to sing it. But it doesn't, it doesn't suit my voice. Uh, that's my humble opinion. Have I, have I been offered it? Yes, many times. Have I sang it in like concert versions and stuff? Yes, but I'm not a caliph. Now, let's try to get to the, uh, the end, right? Now, people start to panic when they go to, to that G. Again, because they believe, oh my God, I'm gonna tire myself. Okay, don't chicken out on this on this G. Don't chicken out. If if you don't, actually, this is gonna be a covered note. I would I would even say I would I would even dare to say that this is gonna be the most covered note of the whole aria. Vinicero! right? Oh, why? Because it's an O. Okay, but don't chicken out. Don't, don't, oh my god, no, the bee's coming, so... And you go... Vincero! Like, like, ooh, ooh. No, because that's gonna get you out of your voice, and then by the time you attack the high B, it's not gonna work. Okay, so, really, sing that G. You know, and McCray, McCray used to say, what are you doing? Why are you chickening out? Why are you chickening out of this? Just sing the bloody note don't do it as an ecstasy because it's not the ecstasy of the of the aria but don't chicken out so sing a good you know just like that and now what happened it's a big jump from uh, an open sound to uh, actually an open sound, but that grows, uh, I mean, goes through or grows actually through a cover sound. But uh, what are you going to do? Are you going to cover and then open? I, I think that process, that, that thought of process is too complex. So actually, you have to trust. You have to trust that the voice, you know, uh, is, is a... Is a um, is something that you cannot really, I mean, and it's an ugly word. The, the word control is ugly. It's toxic to control something. But you can command it, okay? So, I would concentrate on this on this uh, D, and then I would sing everything open. And you think that B open, yeah? So, uh, I will repeat. Vinicero, Vinicero. Okay, so have I covered? Have I opened? Have I, I? I couldn't really tell. Yes, I have opened. I have thought the sound open, not pushed, not, not just open. From this to this, now you, you're coming from an E, but that E is going to disappear, you know, so you cannot rely on, okay, I'm going to match the, the resonance of the E with the, with the, with the A or A, uh, right? So just honestly, let it happen by opening. That's it. And you might say, well, I'm yelling. Listen, if I were yelling, I would be totally a run, run out of voice. My, I would be hoarse by now. I'm not. So, is it going to feel more organic if I, like, try to cover and open? See? Immediately, I, I trap it. Why? Because I'm digging. 
I don't want to dig. After a B flat, uh, you have to let things go up, you know, by themselves. Some some people they start doing things with their mouth and and stuff. I I personally don't. I never did, and I don't recommend it. Okay, but. Again, don't chicken on that G because it's the basics, you know, of of of. Vinicero, Vinicero. That's it, and actually, it's going to help me the the sensation that the ha I have on that G. Okay, of of uh, or organic sort of in my voice. So even if it's an open sound and I'm letting go, I'm still in my voice, okay? So, uh, uh, and then how you hold that note, because actually it's not written uh, like that, you know, and you hear uh, to all recordings, Antonio Cortis and, uh, for example, uh, who, who else? Uh, mm, lost for names, but all, all recordings from the 30s and, and the 20s, they only touch the note and they go down and I it's not because they cannot do it It's just because that's how it's written. Okay in the chorus line also But we want to hold that note How do we do it? Well, I could start talking about well, you know, Span your ribs and uh, Pull in and no, let's make it more simple Let's keep the note alive. Just think, oh, alive until I run out of breath. And that, that's going to help you. Okay, so once again. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm repeating the, 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 the whole end because it helps, okay? People say, isolate that. Yeah, but, but I don't want to chicken out on the G, so I would repeat the G over and over. Vincero! So keep it alive. Keep it alive. Keep that yell, if you want to call it alive. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to hurt you. Okay? I'm not in the best voice today, so maybe it's a bit uh, scruffy or scratchy. It's early. But it is there. And that means that it will it will be better uh, later on. Okay? Um, now, another, another like psychological trick that, that I can give you is that um usually we think that if we have higher notes than this then this note is going to be easier okay if you think that way then i propose you this exercise okay i'm gonna sing this note and then i'm going to add notes to it for example yeah so it would be something like that I know it doesn't sound very pretty, but okay. So with this, you reach a, a a D flat, and then you feel safer because you know that you you can go a bit higher. It's just a, a tip. It's just purely psychological, okay? But otherwise, just stay with the with the uh, the the B and open. Just open, okay? Open. If you do that, you open those A's. Okay, and then that's all you have to do to to actually be in command of this area that scares everybody. Okay, I hope it helps, and uh, I don't. Know, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. And I'll be very happy to answer questions and all that. All right. So check it out. Bye for now. Bye. Oh, no!